East Idaho Eats, brought to you by Young Mazda. Hi, it's Andrea Olson here with another East Idaho Eats. I'm here at Bonsai Ramen in Rexburg with Kel. Thank you so much for having me today. Yeah, thank you for coming. This looks amazing. They're beautiful ramen bowls. Um, let's start with this one right in front of me. What is this? That's actually our brand new dish, the chicken or the pork katsu rice bowl. Uh, we have pork katsu, which is pork loin. It's been breaded, fried, and then prepared over a bed of rice. Uh, oh it comes with also corn, bean sprouts, and one soy egg. And then we have that tonkatsu sauce that's dri drizzled over it as well. That is so flavorful. Automatically, it's one of our favorites. Wow. Why bring something like this to Rexburg? Really, our idea is it's starting to get really warm outside. So to some people, eating a bowl of soup might not be um, something that they'd want just because of how hot it is outside. So a rice bowl adds another option for people that aren't quite into ramen. What do we have over here? So this is our miso bowl. Um, miso bowl comes with um, miso as the flavoring, two soy eggs, green onions, bean sprouts, and then that's what's called chashu, which is uh, okay. pan-seared pork belly, and then also some corn. So where did you get these ideas from? So all of these ideas actually come from our partner and um, some of our employees that actually worked and lived in Japan for multiple years. So all the recipes are authentic and they come from um, Japan itself, so. What are these? I actually don't recognize what these are. So these, these little balls are called takoyaki. They're fried octopus balls. Oh, wow. Um, okay. So on the inside, there are a couple of octopus tentacles. Um, it's supposed to be gooey on the inside and then have a crisp on the outside. A lot of people, they, they get caught off guard by octopus, mm -hmm. but that's definitely an item that's for the adventurous, for those that want to try something new, um, but also very popular. And we've got, it looks like pot stickers over here. Yep, those are our fried gyoza. Uh, it comes with okay. some sweet chili sauce. There's not something like this in Rexburg, really. We've got a lot of American food. There's not a lot of choices. Yeah, no, we're, we're definitely trying to be something different something authentic and really a new experience for anyone that's mm -hmm. coming in. And then also we're trying to make it so that it makes sense to come back and enjoy the experience each time you're here. And then we have these fancy drinks here. Tell me how these work. Yeah, so there are some instructions on the top, but they happen to be in Japanese because these, uh, these are authentic as well. You just open up the top by taking off the wrapping. Okay. This is fun, I like this. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun to explain this to people. The top, um, there's a little part that you break off. Okay, got it. And then this is what you're gonna use to push down. Now, pro tip, when you push down, let the bottle explode for a second, but keep it down so that it doesn't squirt out and spray everywhere. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Just like that. Mine did explode. <laughs> I didn't do a good job. <laughs> no, it's okay. A lot of people um, deal with that and we try to tell them beforehand to leave it inside because it's kind of like champagne goes everywhere. They're fun drinks. They're from Japan um, and there's lots of different flavors too. That is so delicious. I think this one's a melon one. Yeah, melon flavor. I love that. Um, Kel, is there anything else that you want people in Rexburg or their surrounding communities to know about this food? Yeah, so I think the biggest thing for us is we want to make sure that you guys know that the flavor is really important to us. We're working on um, creating new items, adding new things to the menu. These rice bowls are brand new, but we're, we're thinking about sandwiches and doing some other things as well for the summer especially. When are you guys open? We're open from 11 in the morning till 9 p.m. in the evening. So okay. those are our hours. Awesome. Kel, thank you so much for this wonderful food. This is so delicious, I loved it. And if you would like to know more about Bonsai Ramen, we'll have more posted on our website at eastidahonews.com. Thank you. East Idaho Eats, brought to you by Young Mazda.